I bet you have a fear. Maybe scared of heights, spiders, or even feet. It doesn't matter what you have a fear of, because phobias are quite natural. In 2021, according to the NHS, 20 to 30 million people in the UK have a fear. That's around half the population. So, where does it all start? Starting in the amygdala gland, located in the medial temporal lobe of the brain, the middle of the brain. The gland alerts the nervous system, sending signals all around your body. This is where your body's fear response will begin. Stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline are then released. This is where your fight or flight response begins, whether you want to throw a punch or run away. People with extreme fear will experience physical symptoms such as sweating, increased heart rate and even freezing to the spot. Phobias are often caused by trauma or past experiences, which is often the case. However, psychologist Catherine Horner, studying at the Northwestern University of Fitchburg, found that in some cases, phobias are likely caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain, likely caused by genetics. This brings me down to the question, why do we have fear? Well, without fear, we wouldn't have survived today. We'd be jumping off buildings and running into traffic and doing things known in society as dangerous. And by doing these things classed as dangerous, we wouldn't be sat in this room today. In fact, the human race simply wouldn't exist. Now, this is because of a theory that I am particularly interested in, the evolution theory. This theory explores the course of human evolution and the caveman de de developing and adapting to life feared the right things. They live on to pass their genes to us. And to prove this very point, legendary scientist Charles Darwin conducted an experiment in London Zoology Gardens in the 1850s. Darwin approached a puff adder, and even though there was glass separating them both, every time the puff adder moved towards him, Darwin jumped away. In the end, Darwin concluded that the reasons for the most common and uncommon phobias are what was caused by the caveman adapting and developing to life. Now, I hope the words fear and phobias mean more to you now, especially if scared of them, because that would be called logophobia, the fear of words. Fantastic, fantastic. Definitely not got a phobia of public speaking, have you? Uh, that is pretty clear. Fantastic talk. Thank you for kicking off our Fame Lab afternoon. We're going to go to our judges now. Um, Adam, do you have a question you'd like to ask Holly? I do, yeah. Really interesting topic. And I bet when you were reading around, you came across, as well as that, some more interesting facts. I'm thinking of Jamie's beard, the pagonophobia. <laughs> and, and I just wondered whether you'd come across any really interesting and unusual phobias. Um, yes. So, quite ironically, uh, the longest word in the dictionary is actually the word for the fear of long words, which <laughs> I was quite surprised. It's quite funny. <laughs> Can you remember what it was? Uh, no, it's like it's like longer than the uh, longest Welsh word, the town name in Welsh, which I, I can say, but, <laughs> but yeah. I'm phobic of that word already. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'd really like to know why you chose this topic. Uh, well, so I have a phobia of big birds and I don't actually know like why and I don't remember having any trauma about it or past experiences so I thought it was quite interesting to uh, like investigate and learn more and actually that I was like popped into my head and was like oh I found my fame lab topic. Great, thank you. Thank you, fantastic. Thank you judges, thank you Holly, thank you very much. Our first fame lab talk. <laughs>